So back to the irrigation part. In doing the third part of the irrigation, or the third step of the irrigation, if you will, I'm connecting the, the poly pipe that's in this trench to the tree via a little tiny quarter inch um, hose. But I like to have it trenched a little bit. So I come through with the tractor and just do just a little something just so I can have the hose. It's really not much. You can see that the rest of the field there, just a little bit. And just enough to get it um, under the ground so I don't hit it with a mower. Here I go again. Now, you gotta be careful that you don't get too far over to the poly pipe because you'll easily scrape a hole in it. And that stinks because then you gotta repair it. I do have my water on right now, so then if I hit it, I will know. But that's it, just quick and easy. And I'll connect it, I'll show you that here in a second. And then I cover it back up. I get the track loader to cover it up because it has a much bigger bucket and it's a little more agile. That's it. Some of them just take one scoop, some take a few. All right, more in a second. Here's that trench from the poly pipe. I'm at the very back of the, of the farm, okay? The back end of the rows. I'm just working this way. Um, I come through with a bucket and I just scoop with the bucket and lift it up. Scoop, lift it up, and that's what I do to get over here. Uh, if you watch the part where I was putting the poly pipe in, I say I try to stay about six feet away. When you're sitting in the tractor, that's six feet. That varies, it doesn't even look like six feet anymore. When you actually think you're six feet, you're actually probably 10 feet. From the business standpoint, that means there's more work to dig the trench. There's more materials, longer hose to, to get over there to it. I, um, I'm gonna get going on this here and I'll show you how to do it. So basically, the pipe is in here. I have to find it, but I need two hands, so I'm gonna put the camera down, but I'll show you here how it works. So, I come over here with this, and I gently dig. I don't even kick it down, I just gently push it down. And since I dug this trench that way, I'm gonna put all the dirt on that side. Okay, oops, I went hard on that one. I felt the pipe. If you go too hard like that, you can easily break the pipe. You have to just gently go down and then, you know, what's pretty neat is I dug this stuff up yesterday and the ground is actually still wet down here, about six or so inches down. Now that I have the pipe exposed, you gotta be real careful because this shovel will easily break the pipe. Get a piece of the hose and I have these little barb things, just these tiny little barb things right here, just like the home drip irrigation, same thing. And this quarter inch spaghetti line or whatever you want to call it. Push that in, which isn't always easy. And let me tell you, after you do, hell, just a couple of them, it hurts, let alone having to do all of these. Got that in, put on there. Just set the hose down over there. And then I kind of get a little rough estimate of where it's going to be, right? Just lay it down, rough estimate, nothing, nothing scientific with it. And that's why some of these are running really long. Then I cut it, okay? And then I leave this end here. I come back to it in a second. This little doohickey here, that's what they are. And this hose is here. Again, this is from the irrigation store. That's how I buy most all my irrigation stuff. All right, my drippers, I'm gonna save for there. And then, since my tree is that way, I try to poke it on this side. Yes, my water is on. Poke it on this side real quick. Ugh, like that, just jab it in there. And then you have this end here. I'm gonna pull it and it'll shoot water. Then, one-handed isn't always the easiest to do this. Okay, give it a good tug, it's in there. Now I come to this end and it works. So the good thing about waiting to put the drippers on is um, you get everything flushed out of this. I'm gonna put my dripper on with one hand. All right, drippers on, and that's it. Now it drips, and that tree is budding, and that's that. That's how you do it. So then I'll cover this up a little bit with a little bit of uh, dirt, 
just to protect it. And then I'll come back with the tractor and fill all this other stuff in. So that's it for the irrigation. That's how you do it. Just got to do a lot of it. All right. Talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.